Now, think about this. You're a California resident. You want to stay within the law when in the eyes of the law or in public, and you get an AR-15 or maybe an AK-47, and you decide to put a fin grip on it. You know, this makes it incredibly uncomfortable to hold, makes it less maneuverable, gets rid of the pistol grip classification. Or so we thought. Today we're talking about how a Mendocino County District Attorney threatened one person with jail time if they did not forfeit their firearm equipped with a fin grip because the DA determined that it was too easy to remove. Before we get going though, I wanna say thank you to the sponsor of this channel, shallnotcomply.com. They handle all my merch, excellent people. They usually get it shipped out way too damn fast. Most people, uh, when you order merch online, maybe it takes a week, maybe it takes 30 days if you do it through something like Teespring. I am so happy to be with Johnny and Emily with Shall Not Comply. They get it out super fast. Sometimes within a few days, you have your merch sitting at your door. Thank you. So let's talk about it. Let's jump right into this Reddit post. Now, this person that posted this, I vaguely remember them posting something about this a few months ago on Reddit. And usually when people post about stuff saying, hey, I'm in legal trouble, uh, the best course of advice is talk to a lawyer, don't share information on the internet. Generally, that's a pretty good idea. Now, if you're looking for someone to talk to, Firearms Policy Coalition has a civil rights hotline. So if you're in a situation that they think might be beneficial to advancing the rights of the people, they might be willing to take up your case. I'm gonna leave information for that down below, but if you ever are in trouble, shut up, talk to a lawyer. If you don't have a lawyer, get a court appointed attorney, contact the FPC, contact somebody, try to get help. Don't talk to people on the internet. So this person posted this and then the other day they said, if any of you are running this pistol grip fin, I suggest removing it ASAP. I got fucked out of an AK-74 with this grip for being too easily removed. I didn't have the money to fight any of it, so I lost it thanks to the state's wonderful gun laws. Now that grip in question is the AK hammer fin grip. The way this works is you loosen up your AK pistol grip, slide this up under, tighten it down real tight. It's got a little breakaway fin section here that is nice because uh, some AK grips have different angles. This allows it to fit basically pretty much anything. Designed and made in the USA, I think this is a great product. I think this is a good, cheap, simple product to turn your AKs into featureless guns. I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. So let's talk about what went on. They post this and a lot of people are very confused what's going on, uh, what led up to the situation. I told him to DM me and he did. And I asked him a bunch of questions, basically said, how did the police contact start? What do they say and do? Just what the hell is going on? Because this is pretty ridiculous, right? If a district attorney is saying that this is a pistol grip because it's too easily removed, well, every pistol grip is easy to remove. For example, this AK that I have here, one screwdriver, and I could pop this off. And that's pretty damn easy to remove. Before the market truly developed in the state of California for good options for non-pistol grips, basically what people did was they got Kydex, they wrapped it around the grip, trimmed it to fit, put little screws on one side, and they called it a day. If you loosen the screws, shit, sometimes you don't even need to loosen the screws, you could just slide that off. If this is what they are considering a pistol grip, that would be pretty dangerous for you know any sort of case going forward, especially in Mendocino County with that district attorney. Here's his response. Now, keep in mind, his grammar isn't exactly the best. Um, I, maybe he's using te text to speech or something like that or just typing on his phone. So just I'm going to kind of stumble over some words here. Sorry to take so long. Been busy running around. So this all started with a traffic stop on Highway 101. I was heading home from doing some car work at a friend's house. I'd had my AK-74 in the trunk because I was going to go show him that I'd thrown an upgraded trigger in it. It was raining earlier, but basically I'd gone away, so I was doing my usual 68 and a 65 when the sheriff pulled me over saying I was going a bit fast for the elements. Then came back and asked me if I had any guns in the car, and I'd said yes because I could tell he was pointing at a few boxes of ammo I had in the back of the car, so he had me hop out and had another officer show up while he searched the car. The car had some mags and some ammo in it, had a Saiga AK-74 in the trunk with a fin grip on it and my PKAS sight on it and a Nagant revolver. He'd also looked it over pretty heavy and asked what I was doing with an assault weapon, and I had told him that I had a fin grip and that's what made it legal. Now here's the thing, Saigas are incredibly rare, gonna be very hard to come by. This was a true loss. There are not gonna be any more coming into the country. So this is actually, a, a you cannot replace this gun. You really cannot replace this gun. And I'd been showing it to a friend to do some car work. The officer set it down, looked around the car and it came to me back into the AK. Screwed with it more, asked where I got it and how much I paid for it. I told him it was a private party transfer through DNR Firearms and that it was $1,000. Another officer had shown up and then the original officer asked again why I had an assault weapon. 
what I paid for and where I got it, told him the same story over. Then he'd looked into the fin grip saying the fin grip didn't mean that it was legal and that the website had even said that. So here's the thing. Any website that sells compliance parts, they are gonna put a disclaimer on there. Basically like how I say in my videos, I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. They're gonna say, hey, this is what we believe complies with the law. However, we are not lawyers and that you need to do your own research. Basically every single website that sells compliance parts, except for parts like, what is it? The Monster Man grip and the Hammerhead grip, I think are the only two with case law that the DOJ has actually in a court law, court in a case, <laughs> in the court of law said that those two grips were legal. Anything else is just going off the letter of the law and the spirit of the law to determine whether or not they feel comfortable selling their product. He then puts everything away except the AK, then walks up to me with it and asks, why do you think this is legal? I told him because the fin grip makes it legal so I don't have to wrap my thumb, so I don't wrap my thumb around the pistol grip. He then says it's flimsy and that he could yank it out or even push his thumb around it and he'd have a fully functional assault weapon. Then said, you're, you're never gonna see this gun again. I'm sending it to the DA. I asked him if I could get the optic off and he said no. Okay, so I gotta express some of my feelings about this for a second. Cops are not your friend when it comes to the second amendment. Cops do, cops have, and cops will enforce every single gun law on the books as they have done, are doing, and will do. This is a perfect example of it. Mendocino County, everyone says, oh, Mendocino County is so pro 2A, it's so easy to get a CCW, oh, everybody's got a gun out there, the cops love guns, my buddy that's a Mendo Sheriff would never do something like this. This cop seemed pretty damn enthusiastic about A, taking the gun from him, B, that it was an assault weapon, and just is a big fucking cunt. Fuck every cop that is willing to comply and do this. This guy put a goddamn fin grip on his gun. If the guy wanted to not comply with the law, he wouldn't be driving around with a compliant firearm. This cop can go fuck himself. I hope that he tries not to beat his wife like the other 40% of cops. I shouldn't say that on the internet. So then we go to the second section. This is where after the police initial contact. So basically at this point, what happens? The guy's driving 68 and a 65 in a rainy conditions. Cop pulls him over, says, hey, what's going on? See some gun stuffs. The guy says, yes, I have firearms in the vehicle. You don't need to do that. Guy lets the cops search the vehicle. You don't really need to let them do that. Cop then discovers the assault weapon, at which point the cop says, you're not getting this back. They confiscate it, give him back all of his other stuff, send him on his way. So this guy says he's been calling the DA for at least three months, trying to get any information out to see where the case goes. I was fearing possibly catching charges for them, for it or them taking the gun. So basically he's just sitting for three months, just waiting for the police to contact them and say, hey, you're fucked. Then today I got a phone call from my mom saying there was a card in the gate from one of the DA agents. So I told her to send me a pic so I can call them. I'd call the agent back and he'd said the DA was, is giving you an option of forfeit the firearm with no legal re repercussions. So I asked him that I, I take it that I'm facing charges then and he'd said yes. So I sa I'd say you can keep it and that I just want the parts off it and the optic. And he said he was very unlikely, but he can try. I'd asked a lawyer or two, but that's as far as I've gone for asking for help, mainly because I don't want to turn this into a huge shit show where I'd end up having to pay a huge sum of cash to a lawyer for more than the value of a rifle by a lot and, and didn't want to drag my parents into this, assuming the sheriffs come to the house to search the house. I only have my safe here and a few cars, but it's my registered address. I haven't changed it yet. If the cops ask you, do you have any firearms in the vehicle? You don't need to answer that. If you are a CCW holder in the state of California, there is no state law requiring that you inform them that you are legally concealed carrying a firearm. Some counties put the requirement saying that you have to disclose it if you are carrying your gun. So for Sonoma County, for example, we recently have a, had a restriction put on our CCWs that requires if we are stopped by any law enforcement officer while concealed carrying our firearm, we have to inform the cop that we are in fact carrying and give them our license, at which point they can do what they want. So here's the deal. If you're in a situation like this, contact the FPC <laughs> right civil rights hotline i'm going to leave that information down in the description so that if you're in a situation like this you can get in touch now keep in mind if you're in mendocino county and you have an ak with one of these fin grips you're probably going to want to take it off of your gun and replace it with something more like maybe one of these strike Indus industries grips whatever it is that you choose to do if you're in mendocino county definitely i would not recommend putting this on i'm not a lawyer this is not legal advice that being said this is a fin grip I don't know how much more of a fin grip you need to get. 
Yeah, I could break the fin off most of my guns. I could take a Dremel and cut it off. Yeah, I could just manufacture an assault weapon. But the fact that someone's using the compliance parts to make their gun sucky, and this cop still went out of their way to fuck him over, this cop can get bent. This is probably gonna be the last time we talk about this situation, but it's just another one of those things that you need to understand that cops aren't your friends. Having guns in the state of California is inherently gonna cause some attention. Cops will, and they will happily enforce these gun laws. You guys know the drill, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace. Um, by the way, at the end of this, I might be going live on Twitch. I'm gonna be cleaning some guns. Um, I've got a few guns that I gotta clean. I'm gonna be cleaning that AK. Uh, I know, sacrilege, right? Be cleaning the AK, gonna be cleaning a few ARs, and just kind of uh, talking about some stuff on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Reno May, thank you everyone.